There's an economic downturn around the world these days. Many people believe it's due to the malfunctioning of the financial sector. Wall Street is the center of finance in the United States and is currently the scene of a grassroots protest. College students are coming out in force in support of the protests. We sent our own team of inside MSU producers and reporters to what's known as Occupy Wall Street. Who's street? Our street! Occupy Wall Street! It's happening just blocks away from Wall Street at Zuccotti Park. Protesters have been occupying the park for the past 10 days. Scores of people are actually sleeping there. It's a group from all walks of life. This is a very diverse, smart, intelligent, passionate group of people who care about the well-being of the world. And we just want to bring awareness that we need to start thinking of solutions now before it's too late. Instead of a bullhorn or a sound system, they're using a low-tech call and repeat technique. The point on the agenda today. The agenda tomorrow. The agenda tomorrow. The protesters say the gap between the haves and the have-nots is increasing in the United States. They're singing and dancing, a press tent, and free food. What's for, what are we serving tonight? Uh, well, we, we had, right now we've got a lot of pizza. We had more cooked food earlier. Um, there is a heavy police presence, but the officers are just observing and keeping the sidewalks clear. We met several students, many of them with heavy educational loans. I'm 22 years old. I'm in $40,000 student debt, $5,000 medical debt, and Nobody's bailing me out. The government that is for the people. The government that is for the people. The protesters say they represent the majority of people in this country who have no voice or political power. They believe there must be reform of the banking and financial institutions of Wall Street. Protests have spread to dozens of other U.S. cities, including Boston, San Francisco, and Chicago. Yesterday, Wednesday, October 5th, students from almost 100 colleges in the city, including Pratt and the Sunny Schools, participated in walkout and rallies in order to protest their vast and increasing financial debt caused by student loans.